welcome to my tutorial. I'm going to be painting the tree of life. I'm going to start by getting a big brush and wetting it on my paper towel. And I'm going to get some violet. And I'm going to put it just here and at the bottom. Just do a line of it at the top and the bottom. And then you get some white and you do a line of it across like that and a line at the bottom and then you get some this is called fluoro orange and you put some orange right in the middle so you do a line of that And then you get your brush, and this is where the blending happens. So, I'm going to blend first the orange. So you blend it across. And you keep blending until you're satisfied with the way it looks. Now this piece of cardboard has some ridges, so that's going to create a nice effect. And you just make the orange in the first third, like that. And then you clean your brush with some water, wipe it on the paper towel, and then you get the white paint. And you have to do this rather quickly because it's going to blend and it's going to mix with the other colours. So you blend the second half of the white like that. And you can also, mm, no, I'll leave that. And then you rinse your brush and you wipe it on the paper towel and you get your purple and you blend out your purple like that and you blend it into the white like so So you blend it all the way into the white. Until it creates a nice gradient. And you're happy with the gradient. Then you rinse your brush, you wipe it on a paper towel, and you do the white down the bottom. So you blend that Blend that all the way Make sure to get the edges of the canvas too Clean your brush once more and you do the purple down the bottom. So you create a nice gradient with the purple. And you can choose to leave it the way it is or you can mix it into the white and create 
a gradient like that. So I'm just going to keep mixing it until I'm happy with it. Make sure to get the edges of the canvas too. And I'm going to do my top part as well, like just go across like that. And then when you're happy with it, you dry it. Excuse me. some black wash here so you put a bit of that on your palette you can use black paint as well and you make sure your brush is nice and wet and then you start painting a tree so, I'm going to start in the middle and do a trunk. You can do your tree any way you want. Just make sure it has a trod and you can do a little knob like that. This is where you can be creative. So, we start doing the roots by doing a wiggly line and then another wiggly line. And you can do any sort of tree that you prefer. So you get some more black paint and you do wiggly line, a wiggly line, and I do lots of roots like that, lots of wiggly lines. You can do a thick root like that, and make sure it goes to a little point, and then do some roots so you just keep doing wiggly lines until you're satisfied with how your roots look like that and like that 
So that's nice. And then you do this is the half bushy part, half branches. So you do two main branches like that and like that. So that gives it some grounding to work on. And then you just develop your branches like this. You just do some lines. Branches, you can do wiggly lines. You can make your branches any way you want. Just play around with it, have fun. Create some branches with the black paint. And then the other side of the tree, you just can create some thick branches. The tree has to have some grounding, so Better if you create some thick branches coming off the main grounding branches. And you can do some very thin branches like this. Uh, just a thick branch like this. Let's do some thicker branches to show you how you can do anything you want. You don't have to do a tree, you can do a deer. And then we're going to do, when you finish doing your tree trunk and branches, we're going to get our little brush and we're going to do some leaves any way you want on one side of the tree. Because when the tree's in drought, the leaves shut down and don't produce sugars for the tree. So if we do half of it, like that, that's the tree leaves. Checking my camera, and half of it is going to be bare because there's a drought condition on that side. So you can do the leaves of the tree like that.
And then I just want to add some more roots like this. Because I don't feel like there's enough roots to hold that big branch that I did. And you can do your roots down as far as you like. And as wiggly as you like. It's all up to you. And then when you finish doing the leaves, we're going to get some yellow gouache, or you can use paint. I just have the gouache handy. I'm going to take some of the yellow gouache and just do a sun. You can do the sun anywhere you like. I'm going to put my sun at the bottom of the trunk, like that. Just like I did in the example. I think that looks nice. And then we're going to dry the black paint. Just at the top, if your sun is at the top, just wherever your sun is, just do it a wiggly, yellow line. And you can do some sun rays. As far up as you like, as dark as you like. Just make it like some sun is shining on the tree. And that's it. That's the tree of life. Thanks for joining me. Have a lovely day. Bye.